What's going on guys? Ted from Nerd Immersion here and it's time for your D&D Weekly Update. Gonna be up front, most of the stuff that would be covered in this update is covered in my What's New video uh, of Curse of Strahd. You can check over here to click that. It'll also be a just link in the description and in the end card, but most of the stuff that was released by Wizards of the Coast this week was just previews of pretty much everything I go over in that book. So if you haven't watched that video, go check that out. Or if you own the book, then most of the today's update or this week's update is going to already be covered for you. But there is some other cool stuff regarding D&D video games uh, and PAX East stuff, so stay tuned. So let's jump in. First off, real quick, uh, turns out Chris Perkins born on leap year so there's a leap day thing all about fun stuff that has happened based on you know his lifetime through the fact that he's born on leap year uh, so it's a cool infographic you can check out so that's that apparently super tuesday is a thing i don't know this is the coach just makes up stuff like it's map monday and it's super tuesday super tuesday will you vote for uh vote goblin i mean i know it was primaries and stuff but like it makes it seem like Super Tuesday is a thing they always do, which they don't. But vote for the Rust Monster, vote for a Goblin. I don't know. Uh, they released the table of contents for Curse of Strahd. Um, you can check it out here if you have the book. I kind of go over it really quickly. But be mindful there could be spoilers depending on if you don't want to know what's going on in there. Um, it's Wiz Kids Wednesday. Again, whatever. Uh, but they show off two cool new minis going to be coming in the new Monster uh, Menagerie WizKids official pack. So they show off the Mimic and a Phase Fighter. So I'm super pumped. I will be getting those Let me over here uh, and uh, buying at least a couple of those packs and doing live unboxings for you guys so you can see what I get. Uh, next up is Madam Eva revealing some of the trinkets. Again, I talk more about those in the What's New video. Don't look... I'll just glance over it for a second. They reveal about half of the trinkets that are going to be in the new Gothic trinket table. Uh, they also released the Ravenloft Revisited. This is just a foreword um, written by Tracy Hickman, one of the original creators of Ravenloft, just about like going back and what it's like to come back to something you had so much time invested in. It's pretty cool stuff. This I, I do like this, so you really don't risk any... Um, and I feel like this was also released in... The Dragon Plus issue, but you don't run any risks of spoilers. Talks a lot about the uh, the influence and, and what kind of helped them and where they drew their inspiration from to make the original Ravenloft. Uh, there's a very minimal information about D and D at PAX. Um, April 22nd is PAX East. They will be there. Acquisitions Inc. I believe will be doing something there. Um, Yep, they will. Uh, time to be announced or determined in location. Tabletop play. You can go play through Death House and other uh, things set in Ravenloft. I will be there. I'll be trying to get in on an official tabletop situation. If, we're, if you're there and you're at the same table, maybe we'll get to play together. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. Rob Overmeyer, who is one of the guys behind the new update to Neverwinter, the MMO. It's called Maze Engine. Uh, he is on... D&D podcast talking about that. Uh, I don't want to announce that this is a thing, but next Tuesday, the 8th of March, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time, so that's 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern, Wizards of the Coast is starting their new show, Dice Camera Action, run by Chris Perkins. Players are several famous internet folks, uh, and they will be live playing through Curse of Strahd. My issue with that is my ongoing Tuesday night Dungeons & Dragons stream, Know Your Role, which has been going on since, like, September of last year, uh, is pretty much right in that same time slot. And while I like to think that our viewers are, uh, you know, they'll hang around for us, it's hard to argue when you look at what's playing D&D on Tuesday night and there's, like, us with, like, ten people watching and Wizards of the Coast with, like, several thousand but who knows, maybe they won't like it and they'll come watch us instead. Um, but, you know, i got to give you guys the update that this is happening, so be on the lookout for that. But you should come watch us instead. It's going to be interesting. Um, 
Okay, a new special edition of Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. There's a collector's edition. Uh, you can pre-order it now for $130, but what do you get? Uh, you get DRM-free copies of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, so that's the updates to the original Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear on an actual disc. Complete soundtrack of Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, and Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear. Uh, a cloth map, which you can kind of see right here, of um, the Sword Coast. Full color copy of Vince Duncan's Field Report with removable coin, which you can see right there. Spiral bound copy of the official Baldur's Gate Adventures Guide with updated rules and mechanics. A metal dragon head amulet on a leather strap there. And seven Siege of Dragon Spear themed dice in a velvet dice bag. Uh, and then this slip box case. Uh, oh, and look, you can actually click down. There's screenshots of the game and stuff about the story and the features. But if you click down here, it's actually got specifics on each of the things. Look at that. Map. Coin. Field report. Nothing on the dice. I guess it's just... But either way, um, I may be picking this up. It comes out March 31st. So if you want to pre-order, time to do that is now. Because there is only limited supply. Uh, this is the Ravenloft, um, basically for Curse of Strahd and Death House. The Adventurers League Dungeon Master Guide and Adventure League's Player's Handbook have been released. So if you're going to be running that at a shop or something like that, be sure to go check that out. Um, there is some interesting, cool stuff that you might not realize, like if a player dies between levels 1 and 5, they can be freely resurrected instantly by the magic that is Barovia. However, in doing so, they are given a gift from the mists, but also like a curse. Like, it could be something like you have resistance to cold damage, but you're also now vulnerable to fire damage because of the icy spirits that revived your body. It's really cool stuff. It's free. You can get it right on the Dungeon Masters Guild right now, so I would go check that out. Also, you know, stuff about the factions and how the factions aren't really a thing in Barovia. Everybody thinks they're like a legend. Really cool stuff. It's worth checking out. Uh, links again in the description. Something I never thought I would even be talking about on this. There's doing an update to Dungeons & Dragons Online. For those of you who don't know, 10 years ago, an online kind of MMO called Dungeons & Dragons Online, or DDO as it's often referred to, came out. This was a free-to-play but really not for most of the features, from what I remember, uh, Dungeons & Dragons uh, online game. And what this was, was basically Dungeons & Dragons 3rd Edition, or 3.5, in a video game form, as best you could get it. Uh, and like, for instance, Neverwinter, uh, the MMO, which is obviously still going and updating and, and much more, uh, much less clunky and easier to understand, and I think, personally. Um, that's a 4th edition game, because it came out during 4th edition, so the rules, the classes, the races, the way everything's handled is 4th edition. Uh, I don't see us getting a 5th edition one anytime soon. I'd love if they could just do some massive overhaul to Neverwinter to make it 5th edition inspired, because then uh, it would at least be kind of up to date. They're doing the updates where the storylines are what the storylines come out as, but not you know, in the mechanics uh, of 5th edition. But anyway, what is in this? The 10th anniversary update, uh, an anniversary dungeon. They're adding gnomes to D and Dungeons & Dragons Online. 10 years with no gnome as a rank, uh, as a race, rather. So they've done that and added the gnome illusionist as an iconic hero. Iron Defender, Creatures and Companions. Um, and some limited time items are back. And you can click here more for the notes. And here's a couple of pictures of the game. Um, and lastly... Uh, all of the old Ravenloft stuff from older editions, second edition, and I think even prior to that, or, pri or I'm sorry, like third edition as well, Ravenloft-based games are now, looks like they are, well, at least some of these are 50% off on DriveThruRPG. Uh, so if you wanted to pick up some old Ravenloft stuff for your, you know, you're still playing second edition, you want more Ravenloft stuff, or you want to try to take stuff from second edition and adapt it to your fifth edition game if you want to continue at, you know, starting Curse of Strahd and let the game kind of branch out, go other places before you kind of come back to the main Curse of Strahd storyline. You can go and pick up some old adventures on Drive Through RPG. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate when you guys come out and support this. You guys do seem to really enjoy these weekly updates, and I enjoy doing them. 
Um, just keeps it also keeps me up to date on what's going on in the D&D universe, which is good because it helps me update my players and my other friends that are, are dungeon masters and things like that. Um, but if you want to stay up to date to everything that happens on this channel and by proxy things that happen every week in Dungeons and Dragons, you can click right down here, down there to subscribe to the channel, and uh, that way you'll stay up to date on things that are going on. You can also hit up all of our social media. Uh, I do post all of these things as they happen. Um, YouTube, you get updates about once a week, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, if something cool comes out, I'll either tweet, retweet, whatever it is. Um, so Twitter's a really good way to stay up to date more as things happen. Um, but up here at the top is the video here called Know Your Role. That's the video series that me and my friends play Dungeons & Dragons every Tuesday night. Things get really interesting. One of the players has caused a lot of issues in a small town and is now being taken in to go against a trial. So this coming Tuesday, I have to do a political trial with judge and jury and prosecutions, and I have to figure out how the hell I'm going to do that in D&D and make it fun. So that's something that will be interesting. Uh, right here in the middle is a show called Roll for Roll. This streams, uh, Know Your Roll streams every Tuesday night from about 8.30 to midnight um, Eastern Time. Roll for Roll streams every two or every Sunday night from about 8.30, 9pm to about midnight Eastern Time. And this is a game where rather than running it, I'm actually playing in it. This is one by uh, run by my good friend Gozira and a handful of other YouTubes and, and, and Twitch people. We all play together in a custom game that he built from the ground up. Um, super fun. We just got a really creepy house with lots of secret arcane, just, it's very unsettling. So we're going to try to figure out what else is going on with that house. Uh, so that is right here. You can check out that video. And down the bottom, again, is what I mentioned, the What's New in the Curse of Strahd book, where I, I uh, the video where I go through all of the new material. Not a review of the campaign itself, but just... Kind of an informative video on new items, new monsters, trinkets, backgrounds. Just in case you want to know what's new in the game and implement any of that stuff into your existing campaign or campaign you're going to be running but don't actually want to run Curse of Strahd itself. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you have the great rest of your weekend and happy gaming and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.